Hey there, I'm Isil and today we get you started with your T-Scan Hawk 2. In this Getting Started, we will be teaching you how to use some useful accessories to scan with T-Scan Hawk 2. Feel free to pause at any point to follow along. There are also chapter segments if you wish to skip ahead. Let's get started. You have already seen, I have used a rotation table to scan parts. This is an easy way to orient your part towards the scanner and you don't have to move around over the part. Now, think of scanning parts you actually don't want to capture or that you can't place reference points on. In this case, you can use these magnetic lollipops and put them next to the part. In this way, you don't need to put reference points on the part or even on the table. These lollipops are covered with reference points. So you can also scan from a lower angle and still capture enough data to be able to transform the scans. Besides that, these lollipops are also useful to scan big welded frames as it helps you to go easily from one side to the other. It also enables you to use them in combination with satellite mode in which you can generate a pre-referencing cloud of the reference points. You can choose this template to scan larger parts and the software will guide you through the workflow. Just collect the reference points with the satellite mode Now you can scan the part with no need to cover your part with reference points. After finishing this process, you will have a complete scan of the part. If you experience anything different from what you've seen here, or if you have any issues with your T-Scan Hawk 2, please reach out to us via support at handsonmetrology.com. For more getting started information, please check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.